this tutorial, we'll show you how to sync audio with video using a slate. Today, we're working on Space Cats. One of our first scenes, we didn't roll any scratch audio on the camera. However, we slated everything, so we do have a sync point to work with. I'm going to go over to the EVA1 folder and down to the clip labeled Slate. I'm going to scrub through the video until we see the slate. Then I'm going to use the left and right arrow keys to nudge the playhead a frame at a time until the slate claps. Now I hit I and drop my in point. Next I'm going over to the audio folder and into card 2 and opening up the clip also labeled slate. I'll click near it and use the arrow keys to nudge a frame at a time till I see the peak on the meters and my playhead is in line with the waveform. After that hold down command or control if you're on a PC and I'm going to select the video clip labeled Slate as well. Hold Control to right click on a Mac and create multi-camera source sequence. I only have one camera, so it's not really a multi-cam, but this will create a sequence that has video and audio in sync, which acts like a clip and does not modify your camera originals, so you always have something to go back to. In the dialog box, I like to keep it as clip name plus sync, so I know that these are my syncs. Because I have an endpoint for my slate clap, I'm going to choose Sync by Endpoint. You can also sync by waveform or timecode. Check out the links in the description below for those how to's. Make sure you deselect the Move Source Clips to Process bin. This keeps all your clips where you put them and doesn't rearrange the project. Click OK. Now that that is finished, I'll open the new multi camera sequence it created in my source monitor. Hit Spacebar to play it back. The next way to sync audio and video in Premiere is really the most traditional way, and that's to use something like a clapper slate or your hands to give yourself an audio. That looks like it's in sync to me. If I hold down Command or Control on a PC and double click on the sequence, it will open it in a timeline. If you had more than one microphone in a scene, you can solo each mic here and pick the one you want to use. We recorded the audio on a Mix Pre 10T, and I know that track one and two are my left-right mix out of the recorder, and track three was my boom mic. Now it's time to choose which mic I want to use. I know I want to use the third track, which is the boom. To do this, control or right-click on the multi-cam sequence and choose Modify, Audio Channels. I'm only using one audio channel, so I'm going to set this to one, and I want this to be track three, so I check box three. All of the audio tracks are still there, but when we play it back, it is a single mono source from the boom mic. Or your hands to give yourself an audio and. I'm ready to drop this into my final sequence now. And I'm going to press period to put the clip into my timeline. And I see that there's a single audio track. If you want hands on help syncing audio and video, stop by the Womp House.